Welcome back. All right, stage two. It is all the talk. So let's bring in Mike Apple and see where he's going to be shopping. Good morning, Mike. <laughs> or not. That is a big question, actually. <laughs> yeah, how are you, Melanie? I'm okay. How are you? You heard from all of our viewers yep. there. Um, do you think you're going to be going back to the shopping mall? Um, I'm in no rush, particularly. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people maybe are just to get out of the house. Yeah. You know, there there's the the mental component of this, the mm -hmm. the fact that you kind of want to get out a little bit more than you certainly have recently. The flip side of course is which businesses will actually reopen even if they can tomorrow because you look at well the costs involved. You know, you have to put in new safety measures for, you know, a small business operating on a on a slow or a small margin for profitability before all of this. Well, you've got added costs. You got to bring the staff back. You might not be able to be operating at full capacity, and then you have to balance the risk reward to all of this and say, "Is it worth it?" So, I think it's going to be interesting to see exactly how many uh, business operators actually do take advantage of the fact that they can reopen tomorrow. Certainly, people you know are clamoring to get haircuts and you know just get outside, sit in a patio, maybe uh, have a drink or some food. But uh, at the same time, uh, just because they can reopen uh, doesn't necessarily mean that they will. Yeah, 100%. I know um, the hair salon that I go to is not opening until Friday. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think they just need to put all the measures in place and kind of get through the backlog of appointments and, and well, getting people yeah, I was going right? to say, when, 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 is, when is your appointment? Who knows <laughs> My wife when. got a call yesterday. It's like a month from now. That's I mean, the thing. That's you the know, thing. So, the thing, right? But it's, it's, it's all positive, though. We're moving in a positive yep. direction, so let's look at it that way. Uh, let's talk Slowly about Can but surely, yes. Yes, that's the way we have to see it, right, Mike? Yeah. Um, Canada, U.S. trade. Uh, so a number of issues that we continue to watch here. Mm -hmm. uh, well, next Wednesday, the new NAFTA, the Canada-U.S.-Mexico trade deal, takes effect. Hey, remember how that was uh, what we were talking about for so long when they were trying to renegotiate that thing? Well, uh, in advance of that, the U.S. has a little wrinkle that they're going to put in. Uh, they're going to hit Canadian aluminum exports with a 10% tariff because uh, the Americans have realized that uh, their sales of aluminum, maybe some other products, because of a global pandemic, it slowed the economy, so their companies are struggling a little bit. So guess what? They want to uh, do some protectionist measures to uh, support their businesses. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any type of... Well, actually, actually, what they want is Canada to impose export tariffs on this side. So, I mean, it's, it's interesting, the trade maneuvers that are ongoing. Um, overnight, uh, the U.S. had to walk back some comments about uh, a, a trade deal between the U.S. and China, that maybe the talks were off. They say, no, everything's fine. So we're, <laughs> you know, we're talking, uh, dare we say, more normalized economic signals or, or trade talks that we were for, uh, for quite some time before, of course, uh, the pandemic struck. Dare you not say, Mike Eppel. I um, just did. <laughs> <laughs> There's no take backing. Uh, let's talk finally about some of the numbers here. And uh, Apple's yep. still in the headlines here, of course. Yeah, it sure is. Record high this morning. They had their big worldwide developers conference yesterday, did uh, announce a split from Intel, going to bring in uh, their own or expand the use of their own computer chips. It basically just uh, solidifies the control of Apple on their own ecosystem. They're developing their, their own uh, microprocessors. They don't have to have for, wait for Intel to do whatever it was that they were doing. They can roll out updates a lot faster this way. Of course, this is a multi-year project. They're also going to redesign the uh, the screen on the iPhone because um, it's actually one of the largest redesigns they're saying in, in years for the iPhone. Uh, new translation app bring, being brought in, uh, another iOS, number 14, apparently. But um, yeah, it was interesting to see. I mean, this this Apple is leading the recovery rally here, Mel Melanie. We've got markets way up again this morning just on the prospects of a V-shaped economic recovery. Whether or not that is true, that remains to be seen, of course. But um, uh, the hope trade is in full effect in the uh, markets way up already. Absolutely. All right, Mike, as always, we thank you for your time. All right. Thank Talk you. To you tomorrow.